Hi, welcome to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Dawn, I'm the owner. I am in my second year of flower farming and I live in South Louisiana in Zone 8B. Right now, I'm standing out in my flower rows because I have a problem. Well, I have many problems, but today I'm gonna to focus on one problem. Um, I kind of talked about it in one of my last videos when I discovered it. So today, let's tackle this problem. Okay, here's the problem. Um, we noticed this, or I noticed this, in my garden walkthrough in one of my previous videos. I have leaf-footed bugs, and they are destroying my straw flowers. And we all know how much trouble I have with straw flowers this year, just getting them to germinate. And so now that they're starting to bloom, I have an invasion of these leaf-footed bugs. And what they do, you can see it with this one. So what they do is they attack the, the plant, the flower, whatever it is, and they suck the sap out of it until it dies. So you can see that was once a straw flower that is no longer. If you look on every bud, there are these bugs. Look at that. <clears throat> so... I am going to try to remedy, remedy that today and see if we can't get rid of these quickly. All right, I am just like beside myself. Those straw flowers just have given me such a pain. Um, I've talked about this before. I had terrible germination this year. Just everything that ha that can go wrong has gone wrong with those straw flowers. And last year they they did they did fine. Um, I was hoping for a bigger crop this year, and I've just I've had to walk away. But I do not want those leaf-footed bugs to kill them either. So I'm gonna try um, a recipe I found online. Because of course, what's the first thing you do when you find a bug? You got to go identify it, and then you got to figure out how to get rid of it. So, like, let me back up for a minute. So when I saw those during the Gordon tour, um, I even talked about, I immediately went and got Diamatheus Earth and put it on their DE because that normally will um, deter most of the pests that I find on my flowers and on our vegetable plants. Okay, well, it didn't do anything, so I started digging and doing some more research and DE doesn't have any effect on these leaf-footed bugs. <sighs> So now what? So I started looking through videos. Um, a lot of people just take a cup of water, um, soapy water, knock them into it, and they drown, die, and that's it. Or you pick them off and kill them. I have been doing that, but I was looking for more of a, a, a spray or something that I could do um, when I was out there. So I found on a, another vlogger site, it, um, Three Basket Living, he has a recipe on there to get rid of pests um, organically. And so if you've been following me, you know that that's one of our foundations is that we wanna be as organic as possible. So I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna put in it. We're gonna mix it up. I'm gonna spray it. We'll check it again in three days and let's see what happens. Um, first off, you need water. So this is a gallon bottle and I've just got it uh, partially filled up right now with um, rainwater. We do catch our rainwater off the roof of our house into um, uh, animal feeders, so an animal trough. So I, I just go and dump the bucket. So I do have that ready. The other two things it calls for is cold pressed um, orange oil. Got this off of uh, the internet, just ordered it and it also calls for pure Castile soap. So this just happens to be the unscented one. Um, it's Dr. Bonner's, so we're gonna give it a try. The recipe also called for, you could use um, molasses in it. So I'm choosing not to use the, the molasses because I am still doing some research on that. I did read a couple of articles where um, it's not always the best idea to introduce simple sugars into your um, garden. So I, I'm trying to stay away from that. I'm starting to really look more into the Korean natural farming um, and, and how they are combating uh, pests from an organic position. So that's one of the things that I've been looking at. Um, 
So I'm going to use these and then it also calls for a natural fertilizer. In the video, he used um, compost tea. I have not made it that far to make compost tea yet, but my natural fertilizer I do use is um, fish emulsion. So I always have a gallon mixed up anyway because we do fertilizer Fridays. That's how I remember that I need to come and fertilize my seedlings. Um, so that I already have mixed up. So I am just gonna mix this really quick. Um, it calls for a tablespoon uh, I'm sorry, five tablespoons of the cold pressed orange. So this is the big piece. I, from what I've read is you can use just this with just water um, and it'll do the trick. Or And so I, I'm if this works, I'm about to buy stock in cold pressed orange oil. Um, so that's three, four, and five. And then it calls for two tablespoons of the soap. All right. And then it calls for a cup of the fertilizer. So I remember I just said I already have um, the fertilizer mixed up. So, oh, wrong way. I already have the fertilizer mixed up so all it's going to be is me just pouring into my cup and over who and this stuff smells like fish fertilizer Friday's around here hoo, hoo. it's enough to make it your eyes water um, and then I'm just gonna top off let me close this up because you spill this stuff and it just I swear my hands smell like fish fertilizer all Friday afternoon. All right, and then I'm just gonna top this off to fill it back up to the gallon, no, to the gallon. And hopefully, y'all, I'm praying this works. I, I don't wanna use a pesticide in my garden. Um, nope. So, fingers crossed. All right, and then you just give it a little shake. Shake it up. Now, there's a couple of methods you could use to um, apply it. I am going to actually use a hand sprayer. Um, I have another pump sprayer, but I just think that's got a lot, especially, it's. I feel like, let me just put it this way. I think it just has too much pressure for my flowers. I really just don't want to pelt my flowers. This has, I can control the mist, so I'm going to use it. This is just a half gallon sprayer that I bought at a, um, at a big box store. So I'm going to pour this in and we're going to go spray. So this is kind of a weird angle, so just bear with me, but I'm going to go through and just start spraying. Um, They do lay eggs, and they they lay a lot of eggs. So I want to make sure um, that I'm getting each flower. God, there's so much damage. Ugh! This just makes me sick. Now, from what I understand, this is not supposed to harm my beneficial bugs. So I, I'm praying that's the case. And then I may, after I do these and after a couple of days when we come back out here and check, if there are no um, signs, I may cut these back and see if I can get another bloom from them and just start from there. I'm gonna cut back the ones that are damaged anyway um, and see if See if they'll grow if I can get a new bud on them. Well, it smells good. It smells like orange. <laughs>
there's so much damage on some of these. All right, it's been three days since I sprayed. I actually um, came out yesterday and just sprayed again, so let's go look at it. Let's go see what's happening. All right, let's see. I do see stuff flying. Looks like one there. there. Look at the damage they've done. Yeah, so that one there. Ooh, they've done some damage. As you can see, we still have some leaf-footed bugs. Um, not as many, not near as many, but we still have some. So I may try to do another application later. But truthfully, I'm really just contemplating. I need to cut them all back anyway. Um, I should have pinched them a long time ago, and I didn't. So I may just do that and see what happens. Um, I've just struggled with these straw flowers all season um, since I started germinating them. So, <sighs> so frustrating. But it's a learning. Um, I'm going to turn this into a lesson. So, uh, I don't really want to try anything else out here because I don't want to kill my beneficial bugs. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just going to pinch them all back cut them all back um, and maybe I'll get a flush of them maybe I won't I don't know so here's what I'll say my hopes are high but my expectations are always low when it comes to growing some of these things and and pest control so we'll see until we meet again my friends I hope you're turning all of your daydreams into a reality